This is a CT scan of the abdomen with IV contrast. Starting at the top, we scroll down. Immediately we see that there is abnormality of the large bowel, characterized by generalized distension, containing multiple gas and fluid levels. When we go to the bottom, the rectum is collapsed. The sigmoid colon is also collapsed. In the sigmoid colon, there are two focal abnormalities characterized by a large enhancing stricturing mass, one present right here, and a second just distally, a couple of centimeters distal from the first. Has the appearance of an apple core lesion. In an older patient, the appearances are concerning for synchronous colonic carcinoma. Looking for complications of this, obviously there is a large bowel obstruction, which is a, which is a surgical emergency in itself. We can see there is a, di a abnormally enlarged and lobulated lymph node adjacent to the suspected colon cancer. This is highly suggestive of local metastatic nodal disease. We don't see evidence of perforation. There is no evidence of bowel infarction. We look at the small bowel. This is the terminal ileum. We can in fact see that there is communication of gas between the small and large bowel. The small bowel is mildly dilated, which means that there is a incompetent ileocecal valve allowing the patient to partially decompress some of the large bowel obstruction. Looking for evidence of metastatic disease, we scroll back up to look at the abdominal viscera. Within the liver, there are multiple low density lobular lesions, which are most likely hepatic cysts. We see a structure here in the right lobe of liver, segment five with ill-defined margins, and you can see is distinctly different from the hepatic cysts, lower in attenuation, and it's heterogeneous. This is suspicious for a hepatic metastasis. Furthermore, we see a lobulated, ovoid, soft tissue density lesion, which is inseparable from the medial limb of the right adrenal gland. In this context, this is suspicious for a adrenal metastasis. We don't see any other metastasis within the abdomen, the spleen, the left adrenal, the kidneys, the pancreas, and the gallbladder are all normal in appearance. Looking at the lung bases, we don't see any discrete pulmonary nodules to suggest pulmonary metastatic disease. There are, there is bibasal atelectasis, no large pleural effusion. To sum up this case, the findings are compatible with synchronous colonic carcinoma, resulting in a large bowel obstruction with localized nodal metastasis and suspected hepatic and adrenal metastasis. This patient will require immediate surgical evaluation for to address the large bowel obstruction. Furthermore, the patient will also require medical oncology review to further address metastatic col colonic carcinoma.